day in the initial brewing only a few places after I cross cut just I know it's high in the middle and also my very simple um, attempts of locking down the the angled straight edge tail so that it is tight it is sturdy with two wood clamps the camelback. Little tricky when it comes to the finding the area. You are going to uh, have to apply some pressure that way. And I see it's pivoting this in that point and the other. The camelback is then superior to the other say straight edges as far as I've learned because it can be used for different hard to get to surfaces like this one for instance one thing I have forgotten to show is the application of the canode or canode I'm not sure how to pronounce that um, anti for anti glare then Richard says that you can dilute this with window cleaner, I believe is using. I haven't done that, so maybe this will be thicker than optimum, but anyway. This helps to, at least in the finishing stages, to distinguish really the places to, uh, that are spotted. So, okay, roughly there, so good. The same, hinges, hinges okay. And then, as little force as possible, rubbing. And as we have learned in class, you can do this any way you want. Circles, figure eights, whatever. As long as you pull it up. Okay. Don't know if you can notice the difference with or without this uh, uh, the yellow canode, but it's apparent that it's easier to look. I um, have, have a long way to go, of course, to fill up, 
but I st I'm starting to see individual points instead of black uh, no, uh, large spots. And this is a close up how it looks like with the yellow highlighter on. Uh, you can better see uh, the bluing because the, the contrast is higher. This is after a few more cycles so and I have some more to go. But this should, if it comes through with the video, enable you to see that's a little bit easier.